All right, uh, Junk Man Devlog number 12. I've worked on this for 12 sessions now. And we'll start by watching what we finished with last time. This walk at the beginning is just, wow, so much not like I wanted it. Look how wobbly his head is. And, and the pattern of his bounce doesn't even seem to match with his steps. I mean, sliding, they expected him to slide, but that's ridiculous, so we'll have to do that again. <coughs> Thank you, drunk man. Come on, Shandy. That sort of shrug was a bit rubbish. I think it needs more longer still between these lines. Come on, Shandy. The timing isn't really right at all. Right, I'm having your two. That glass, as he drinks from it, actually disappears. Right, just well, where the lines now are drawn. I'm get some more. Not sure if I can do anything about that. I do like the final bit though, as he turns yeah. around and his cloak flies behind him. It's just the same, he stops as he walks away. I mean, possibly only at the point it would be fading out already. But, <coughs> that's quite a lot of work to fix, eh? So, start by editing the walk cycle inside the trunk band object. Use four keyframes here. My last task. To stay here. And have him repeat it as he moves forwards and so we can try and produce the sliding. For anything. that into the main drunk man scene and then delete all the keys that uh, were misplaced. Now we use the NLA editor to play that walk over the top of the existing action. So that's his walk sorted out, hopefully. It's so hard to tell when the best your computer can do is three frames a second, and then you watch it. No, five frames a second, and then you watch it later on at 24. Uh, obviously, it looks quite a lot different, a lot more. Well, the timings are hard anyway. I've had to put the walk in as a separate action in the NLA editor non-linear action editor and I've got to confess that thing always confuses me so I didn't really want to but I guess it's all good practice eh? must remember from now on to make sure I'm editing the correct action and we're going to do more timing stuff when I I think I'm going to revert to watching the pre-recorded animation, the, the rendered animation from last time a lot during this as I just try and make the comedy timing better, make sure the pauses are right, I might have some eyebrow raises or something, some facial expressions, but still no lift movements, but they will come later when hopefully one of you will volunteer to do my voices. Maybe more than one of you, you can tell. So I add about a second in between each of their sips, really. Moving all of the animation points and all of the sound points forward at the same time by the same amount. and empty in his glass properly. And make the 
glass edges show better by adding creases. So, I think that's uh, hopefully took some time there. Added four or five seconds in total. Just, it seems felt very rushed when I reviewed it, and that scene needs to. I mean, they're waiting for each other, so that's a big time. As much as I'm loath to let them these things. Um, next up, we're going to start the next scene, which is only very, very short. It's just a shot of them on the train drinking for a Presumably more seconds than I originally planned, given how that one ended up in a pace. So the first thing I need, need to do is build a new, build a new set. Pick some reference images of trains and then basically fill out a cube to try and fit that rough pattern. And cut it down to a small repeated unit and then repeat that unit using the array modifier, which means I can edit just one to have them all edited. Try and put some doors in there and give up on that. Then let's do some seats. And adjust the lighting inside the carriage. texture so that the view out of the window appears properly with nice clouds and a blue sky. Add in their glasses from the other scene so that they've got something to drink. Attach it to their hands. Properly and then add camera animation, some wheels, so the camera just moves along the train and in through the window, cut into this first pose. physics for the cloak. And that window is rubbish, so we're going to add a building from the fanfare at the beginning. A repeated array of that, which moves past the train to give the illusion of the train moving. Of course, it's all illusion, really. Nothing here moves. It's all just that. Okay. Uh, that's about all I've got time for today. I've managed to build the train and I've managed to put something in this background so you can see that it's moving through the window, put the characters in it, set them up in the first pose. There's really not a lot more to do in this scene. They just want to take a few steps. So I'm sure that we'll finish that off next time and we'll have one after that. That'll be two whole pages of script done. And two pages? So this walk looks a bit there better you go, now. Sandy. And despite Thank having extra man. seconds added to this scene, it still feels rushed. Come on, Sandy. Oh, come
Come on, Shandy. The shrug's still bad. Right, I'm having yours too. That extra head nodding has been added in. Presumably from a faulty copy and <sighs> paste. Right, well, now I've got to get some more. But better, still needs work. This train's moving far too fast. And indeed the building's outside far too fast as well. See you soon.